Well, after much deliberation and a marathon meeting, the BJP has put its list of candidates for Uttar Pradesh and Bihar on hold. So there is still no clarity on where the party's prime ministerial candidate Narendra Modi will contest elections from. BJP's third list seems to suggest that the party seems to be getting cold feet before the elections. Marathon meeting of the BJP CEC lasting over 10 hours and yet no solution could be found to the contentious seats in the most crucial state of Uttar Pradesh. So even after three lists are out, the party hasn't found a seat for its prime ministerial candidate. Karenge, karenge. Karenge na. Website mein dal denge. Abhi jo hai, chalao. Abhi jo humne diya hai, ye aaj ka suchi hai. Fir hum pandra tarik ko milenge. Bihar and Uttar Pradesh are being considered the most crucial state for the party, while no names were declared for Uttar Pradesh. Declaration of 25 of the 30 seats in Bihar led to more heartburn than happiness. I am very happy and I am very happy that I While its own workers are unhappy, the party has bent backwards to please turn codes. Tamam. नेताओं के प्रति आभार व्यक्त करते हैं आदरणीय राजनाथ सिंह जी के प्रति आदरणीय मोदी जी के प्रति सारे केंद्रीय नेतृत्व के प्रति और राज्य के नेतृत्व के प्रति जिन्होंने मुझे मेरे जैसे एक साधारण कार्यकर्ता को इतना बड़ा सम्मान दिया पार्टी भूत की जनता का सेवा का मौका दिया जनरेशन नेक्स्ट ऑफ की लीडर्स हैव ऑल्सो फाउंड अ प्लेस सीनियर लीडर यशवंत सिन्हा सन जयंत गेट्स टू फाइट फ्रॉम हजारीबाग Whereas Poonam Mahajan will take on Priyadat from Mumbai North Central. Jain Narayan Nishat's son will take over from him in Muzaffarnagar. Other crucial names in the third list are Sushma Swaraj from Vidisha, SS Aluwalia from Darjeeling, Sumitra Mahajan from Indore, former Home Secretary RK Singh from Ara. With this, the BJP has announced 206 candidates for the Lok Sabha polls. Bureau Report, Headlines Today.